So today, we're going to be attempting the most ambitious game in the history of Civilization VI. We are going to pit 11 completely random players from my community against me. However, I will have the DD AI bonuses. Now, for people who don't know, let me just give you the enumeration of the DD AI bonuses, okay? The DD AI gets a 40% bonus to culture, faith, and science. So I'm going to be playing with 40% more culture, 40% more science, 40% more faith, and I'm going to have double production, double gold. All my units will have plus four combat strength. I will get 50% more combat experience. I will get a whole bunch of free technologies. I will get free settlers. I will get free warriors. I will get free builders. I will get... It's, it's going to be insane. I'm going to be so insanely overpowered in this game. However, the other team has 11 people. There are 11 people that I'm going up against. So the question is, okay, can 11 average Joes beat one souped up YouTuber? That's the question we're asking and answering today. Okay, we've got everyone in the lobby, right? This is like, this is honestly, this is the hard, this is going to be the hardest part of the challenge for me is getting people into the lobby. Step one, you get to vote for my sieve. You get to pick my sieve. So you all get one vote. They're all voting for Egypt. Why would they all vote for Egypt? I guess it's because all, all of Egypt's bonuses are terrible. <laughs> That's probably it, right? I'll, give, I'll let them vote for their map type too. Let's give them a chance here, okay? Let's give them a chance. Archipelago is one. So we have online speed, Archipelago huge, and I'm playing Egypt with 120 turn turn timers. Turn timer will be increased. Starting on a water map completely obliterates my starting, my, my biggest advantage. <laughs> They've actually, this is actually a five head decision by them. However, I'm going to have caravels so incredibly quickly that their head is going to spin. Okay, so if I'm looking at this starting location, I have quite a few options. I think I should spread out and explore. Um, I could maybe, if I settle here, I could harbor, um, I could settle over here, right here, here hear me out. If I settle here, the problem is that this, this city right here has no good tiles and I'm going to go, here's what I'm thinking. I'm thinking like, okay, harbor, campus, babouche, something like that. Or maybe, I don't know, or maybe like harbor, theater square, holy side or something. I don't know. Where am I going to settle? I want two, two tiles. What about moving to here? No, I want to be coastal. This is a coastal map. So I want to be ready to fight these boys. So I'm going to go in place. I'm going to work the two food, two production tile. I'm immediately going to get started on this. This builder I don't have a real use for, actually. There's no rules, by the way. Play as dirty as you want. This looks like an okay spot over here. I'm going to move this direction. And I'll send the builder to go get that tribal village if I can. Oh man, there's so many city-states for me to merc early. I, ne I need to make sure that I get a religion this game in order to prevent them from winning an easy religion victory. That's like pretty critical. Slinger for boost. Yeah, probably a good idea actually now that you've said it. Now the problem is I have river defense here that I have to worry about. That's going to make my life a little bit more difficult. Um, uh, traders would be good. Well, yeah, internal trade would be kind of cool. Let's get our monuments up. Fill the policy slot. I'm already getting faith. So that's great. I'll take discipline for fighting barbs. The goal is to get as many cities as possible. Like after this slinger, I'll probably go for another settler. I just try to mass, mass, mass settle. I wonder how they're, I wonder what their plan is to try and stop me. Because I don't know what I would do to try and stop this. This is like a nightmare scenario. I think I settle on this because there's a good harbor right there. Now, is there a city state I actually want to keep? Hmm. Nah, we're just going to kill them. Kill them all. Okay, let us begin the siege. Settle our third city. I think we need to unlock mining. Well, we get sailing first and then mining. There's a plus two holy site here, technically. So I'm thinking harbor, campus, holy site. Boop, boop, boop. They don't have their first settler out yet. Oh, no. 
Oh, you poor guys. Should I build Stonehenge for the memes? You need to build all the wonders just because you can. Uh, I <laughs> We could do that. That would be fun. Take the quarry pantheon. Hell yeah. Oh, I should have gone for quarry faith. Damn it. You're right. Didn't even think of it. What are the advantages you have? Well, it's turn 14 and I have five cities. And all of my cities have built monuments. So I'm pretty sure the 100% production bonus that I have is like doing pretty good work right now. Send them delegations out of pity. No, the first one that I find, I'm immediately declaring war and then turning my entire empire into a war machine to kill. Oh, 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 <laughs> no, who is that? Oh, no. Oh, no, I found one. <laughs> oh, dude, I smell blood. It's hunting season. Do you even need maritime industries? It's not about needing maritime industries to one turn galleys. It's about sending a message. Hey, Dido. I've denounced Dido specifically. Bro! What is this? Oh, he's going to pay for that. Are they all just trying to galley rush me? Um, I'm impressed if they're all trying to build harbors to just try and kill me. So they know where I am now, which is kind of spooky. That's not a big deal. I should be able to outproduce them galley wise. They're not going to let you breathe. They don't have to let me breathe. I can hold my units have plus four combat strength. I can hold them off and SimCity at the same time. Let's pick up military tradition, new government. This time I want to take uh, oligarchy. So my galleys are stronger. We're going to go have make sure we have maritime industries plugged in plus settlers. We're only producing military units and settlers. And we want conscription to lower our gold cost because galleys cost one gold, which means we are essentially having galleys for free. I mean, look at this. Look at these attacks. If he attacks me, his boats get so hurt. He's trying. I appreciate it. I think I think in order to make this work, if you're on the if you're on the 11 noob team, you have to go hard against the deity player. It's turn 20 and I'm researching like turn 100 civics. Look at this guy spamming ships. Oh man, if I just get like a couple catapults at the start, pip pip ping, pip pip ping into the water. He's in bad shape. <laughs> I love how I can hold him off with this many ships. I love that. How did Potato get so far ahead? I'm cheating. I need bro I need um shipbuilding and bronze working. My mid game is actually going to be disgusting. Like once I get the caravels, I don't think they can stop me. Right now they're putting up resistance. But the second I have a tech and admiral lead, it's ogre. The full sweat is activated. I've never clicked so hard in my life. Get wrecked. That's a fairly defensible capital for now. I don't have to kill him. I just have to make him suffer. That he can't do anything but sit there and cry. Look at them trying to pile more units into the gap. They're like, hold the line, guys. <laughs> Look at them. Look at them squirm. They know how dangerous I am. Okay, we got our quad. Now I feel fairly safe declaring war on Candy. Especially because I get a builder out of it. I should be able to kill this without them taking it. Are you keeping Valletta? Yeah, I'm keeping Valletta because it allows me to, gives me a use for my faith this game. And I might kill them later. Now he should see that he's surrounded on both sides. Oh, he's trying to get a cockroach settler out. Look at him. He's got a cockroach. The cockroach settler. Look at him. Look at him. He just scuttled into the fog of war. Oh, we found him, boys. We found them hunting seasons on. There could be an option to vassalize who you conquer. They could abandon their current team and join my team. It's all or nothing, baby. Um, okay, Golden Age. I feel like this is free. This is an easy free inquiry for me. It means I don't actually have to go campuses. I'm going to wait until next turn to try and kill this city. Because if I roll low on my damage and I don't kill this city this turn, um, he can take it from me for free. He tried. He tried. <laughs> he tried. I appreciate it, one is <laughs> He tried. He tried. If he was going to delete that city. Ooh. They're playing dirty today. They're playing dirty. I really do have to kill Lisbon, though, because he's generating probably an absurd amount of gold. Like, if I go check. Bro, he's making a... Por all right, Portugal is en public enemy number one. All my efforts are going to kill Portugal right now. He's making a hundred gold per turn. He cannot be allowed to live. What the hell? 
Portugal needs to die. <laughs> like, right now. I would like to grow my capital more, so I'm going to use that trader internally, I think. England will be the late game enemy, for sure. England and Japan are going to be my two biggest opponents. England is already simming, like, really, really hard. They're at 25 science and 15 culture, which is kind of nutty. Same about Russia. There's a few of them that are doing really, really well. Dido can stay. It's Portugal that needs to die. The bank roller needs to go. I think once I have caravels and frigates, this becomes very difficult for them. And if I get to aircraft, um, this also becomes very untenable for them. Now, this will be a galley swarm, the likes of which the world has never known. Portugal is keeping up super well because he's doing international trades, I think. Or else he got his... He, maybe he would have his university by now? <laughs> this is so many galleys! <laughs> this is so many galleys! <laughs> <coughs> oh my god! But I, I cannot tunnel vision this guy too much. I gotta find Guitarja. I gotta find all these other players. I gotta keep settling. I gotta keep murdering. Watch out, he's gonna morb. Oh, this is going to be an easy kill on Guitarja. His seas are completely undefended. Oh shit. Bro. It's caravel time. <laughs> Who's winning? Um, I would say if Portugal can prevent me from getting serious pillages off, he's winning. If I get these pillages off, uh, I take the game. Look at him making scouts. This is some try-hard shit right here. This is the most try-hard person in the game. <laughs> you guys were telling me to be sweaty. This guy's building scouts to support his ships. The important thing is not that I kill Portugal. It's that I kill his allies. Every city that I take is a huge win for me. Bro, why did I spawn next to the only player who could stop me? Start obliterating this city. That message. LOL W. He lost a caravel because he was typing. Oh, mega lol, dude. Oh, mega lol. Imagine losing a unit to a type. Oh my god, I'm actually so embarrassed for you. Let's retreat with our galleys. We should keep them alive so we can upgrade them. Portugal is under siege. He has to find an answer for these um, these catapults. Naval unit production? Yeah, I need, I need to switch. I can't plug in enough cards. I need to change my government. I, 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 forgot that, I forgot that Merchant Republic only has two military cards, which is like a big problem for me right now. I need, if I could pillage all of these trade routes. <laughs> if someone on the enemy team has spare envoys and takes away Juan's suzerainty, <laughs> of Mogadishu <laughs> I will make them I'll give them a special role on my discord if you take Mogadishu Susan D away from Wands <laughs> ooh a little galley settler a little cockroach trying to escape there eh now we got that now we got this harbor open for pillaging And I managed to get another caravel under construction here with the overflow. Even if they funnel gold to Portugal, I think I can outtech him. Portugal has over 100 GPT. He has like 300 GPT right now. He's trying to bait me into attacking him when I really need to kill his friends. That's what's happening here. He's trying to bait me. I will not take the bait, okay? I am the baiter. Like, look, you may have... Portugal, you may have like incredible science, okay? But you're never getting... Armadas when I do. <laughs> What's your answer then, bud? Imagine if you were Norway. Imagine if I was literally any sieve except for Egypt. They actually picked like the perfect worst sieve for this scenario. Like I am impressed at their ability to identify an absolutely garbage sieve and force me to play it. Lisbon has fallen there, bud. It's looking a little... uh looking a little thin that archer it's gonna have to do an awful lot of work your buddies are crumbling around you what's your answer
<laughs> Talking trash in chat. <laughs> look, look at all these juicy cities, man, that I'm just going to knock over so easy. Each of these will crank out double production for me. Increase my gold, increase my science. Ooh, baby. If it's triple the girth, that's a tumor. Yeah, it could be. Have you considered just going for the Diplo win? <laughs> good, good, good joke. Nice joke. This guy's a comedian over here. Uh, does Potato still believe he'll win this easily? Absolutely. I'm winning. What, what Civ would you play in this? If I was, if I was Vikings, I'd win this game in Ancient Era. I'm not getting baited by this. Yeah, if I was Vikings, I'd win this in Ancient Era, like, easily. Brussels hath fallen. It is now mine. So I don't want to move you. I want to move you. What is this? What does he think this is going to achieve? All this is going to do is annoy me. Monarchy. Okay. Oligarchic legacy. Press gangs. Conscription. And urban planning. We're all in. I think... Is he just trying to, like, draw aggro? It's working. But now I'm building caravels at three times speed. I don't know if they can really stop me. You have a letter just buy walls. I can. I can do that. But there's no need to buy walls until I need to. Does that make sense? Okay, we're getting kills. Tuban has fallen. Belongs to me now. You need to be there. The sheer amount of shit being thrown at me is quite tough. His economy is insane. It's absorbing all of my attention. Have you built your unique unit yet? Oh, shoot. I should have done that. I would have got a golden age. <gasps> Merde. Merde. I would have had a golden age. I, uh, I have to hold against Portugal. He's actually... I'm, I'm impressed at his ability. He must play a lot of fucking multiplayer. Bro, he's going to have people feeding him niter too. That's what makes this even harder. I have to, I have to harvest my niter. Like an old-timey miner. I don't even know what to upgrade here. Uh... They're going to ban all my trade. Those mother ba... Oh, my gold's going to go down. That's going to be rough. Can you play more defensively? I lose if I play defensively. I I have the production capacity and gold capacity of two players as one player. They have the production and gold capacity of 11 players. So I need to start killing them. I need to take them on one by one and then snowball from killing them. The problem is they picked like the perfect map, like the anti-snowball map. They picked Archipelago. They picked Portugal on an Archipelago map. They picked all naval sieves. They gave me a non-naval sieve. So like they really stacked the gates against me here. I wanted to play on a Pangea. Okay, I'm starting to stabilize and build an overwhelming fleet to where I can fight Portugal with my like... Are you kidding me? Fucking hurricanes in the water, man. Where I don't have to dedicate my entire fleet to Portugal. Now I have spare fleet to go conquer the world. Can't help but wonder what the other players are up to. I have no idea what the other players are doing. That's kind of exciting and scary at the same time. Oh no, Lisbon got its walls back. That's okay. It's not a big deal. Copium. Chat, yeah, chat. You're supposed to be on the side of the, the, the common man, actually. I don't know why you guys are cheering for a potato. Oh my god. How do your nows have 80 combat strength? What the actual hell? You fool! What do you think you're doing over here, Mary? You think you're all you're doing is distracting one unit? Look at them now, they're all copying them with their little with their little scouts of the water. Oh, it's so cute. They're all following suit. Are you trying to pillage me with horsemen? I'll have you know that shit is not a vibe, okay? I found another player. This is huge. Intel. The other really annoying thing about scouts being in the water is that they act as like a wall that you have to attack again to break through. So they actually make like naval combat. It just like completely changes when you start implementing scouts. And it's, I can see why it's done, but God, is it awful. 
are you are you chatting or part of the noobs mr potato wow that's the that's the roast of the day right there jesus we do have to be careful about how much we commit to attacking other players oh man he's trying to trap me good news i have a caravel in the area now this is this is the most important operation in the game what i'm about to do right here this cracks the game right open now, people in chat can see what I'm doing, but the people in game cannot see what I'm doing, okay? Do you see this? This right here? This is the thing that has held me back this whole game. What's that, guys? We're in the money. Um, and Portugal has been a massive thorn in my side, but Portugal is now contained. And I'm taking the fight to his allies. Alright, so what's happening here? This needs to die. like this perfect i can i can smell coupe <laughs> he hasn't washed in day <laughs> no portugal is starting to shake i don't know if he's starting to shake so much as like we've settled this is the trench this is the front line of the trenches right there's not much that can be done now it's just down to apm and micro it's got to be down to uh realistically the way that he breaks this is all of my concentration is on the other side of the map as I try to conquer his allies. He um, gets to frigates and tries to first move, last move to eat away at my front line. Oh, I found his cities. Oh no, I found his cities. Oh no, for him. I found them. Oh, a caravel. I'm impressed. Who is this? Japan? Japan has caravels? All right, fair play. The, the hard thing is, see, I have to sim city and do military, which is like, it's really hard to do both. It's quite easy to do one or the other, but both is rough. So I want to move my caravels and kill squads of three. What's up, bro? Bro, you left your cities way too undefended. You gotta, you gotta fix that immediately. I got a horde of caravels coming your way now. Bro, he's trying to do the first move, last move thing. How dare he? He's trying to attrition my front line. Little does he know. I want, I want you to hear this clicking, okay? You listen. I'm clicking so hard, I'm gonna... You're not gonna beat me to this first move. Now, this is a real meme. If I could get a couple of these bad boys. Nice city, bruh. Where did, where did that kill happen? The problem is the map is now too much. There is now too much map for me to keep track of all the deaths and kills and stuff. I don't know where things are dying. Fair play to you. Okay, it was over here that he was getting kills. Well, let's bring a caravel in to end that. What have we got, a renaissance era? Oh, free ironclad? Oh, man. Okay, redirect some more caravels to the front line. We won't have any reinforcements for a little while because we're building our shipyards to try and maximize our production. We can build this in eight turns. Oh, baby. I'm going to need... <laughs> I'm going to need to double the turn timer once I build that. <laughs> oh, man. Bro, I need more time. <laughs> can, I, can I get a referee judgment here on how much time I have? It's not enough. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, guys, I'm going to have to add another 20 seconds to the turn timer. There's actually way too many actions for me. I'm so sorry. Uh, is there a hard limit on turn timer? I have so many fucking units. <laughs> I'm eating baked potato for days. Dude, this guy talks tier one trash. I'll give him that. We still got that clinched. I don't know how he's doing so much damage. It's probably the... F does he have frigates in the area or something? Or maybe the city does more damage now? Not sure. But I need to buy time for another six turns. And then I can go ham again. So let's pull back a little bit of this. I have an armada, that's why. Ah, the armada. Okay. Well, that'll do work for him. I think I pull off this front. Um, and I focus on England, because England is actually a threat. If I contain the threats, then I'm doing well. 
man at arms running around my territory will be annoying. I don't think he'll be able to do too much if he pulls it off. English privateer? Yes, I will have to deal with the privateers. Japan's going to be your biggest late game hurdle. Probably. Probably Japan and England. Um, but I think I just need to kill the easy weak players first. Convert their cities if you can. That's not happening. This, this is not happening. So we're only a couple of attacks away from nationalism. Which will allow me to start to produce like an insane, insane sized and strength army. Like things are getting, things are getting pretty pog here. So many resources currently going into a border war. Yeah, this is just like, he's doing a really good job of being a resource sink. So this I'm worried about. I need to raise this. A lot of concentration taken here to, to fight these battles. English Sea Dog, he's capturing my ships over here. I appreciate this attempt from Tipsy. That's a good effort on the counterattack. Um, considering what is he? He's like super far behind. He's this is a good attack. This is a this forces me to do things that I don't want to be doing, which is like responding to his attack. Uh, so fair play to him. Oh, pillage trade routes, good call. My shipyards are finishing. This is huge. My my naval production is about to actually explode. By Trebs now I think, oh yeah, yeah, good call. Ooh, good call, good call. That that's a good call. I'd meant to be doing that. That was actually something I even referenced myself. Um Policy this turn for pillage? I wish. I don't think I can change my government at all. I think I need to hold all of these. These are all essential. Maybe this one could change to something, but Who the hell do you think you are, Hildegard? The bingen. The bingen. She do, do be bingen. Alright. Let's find more shit to kill. Leave Japan alone. Heal SimCity. He'll panic thinking I'm coming for him. While I'm actually SimCitying. Russia surpassed your culture. Fair play. Actually, I think the culture victory is their best attempt at winning. Yeah, Russia has 44 tourism per turn. There's some cheeky moves happening here. But the counterattack will be devastating. Now the problem with unlocking ironclads is I can no longer build caravels until I'm out of coal. And then ironclads become basically big paperweights. How can he see? I Do I just not fundamentally not understand how privateers work? Are privateers not invisible? Like it literally says on them. Can only be seen by other naval, naval raiders unless adjacent. There's no unit here. So how could he be seen? Right? That's... I don't understand. I don't understand how that unit works. Oh, you attacked. Does attacking reveal it? I thought they could attack without being revealed. See, now that... Oh, they're a vis... Okay. Now that... See, that's something I didn't understand about that unit. See, I just don't have the APM to fight Portugal. So he's going to wear me down. Look at this. Oh, Canal City. That's huge. That's clever. So they forgot about the Venetian Arsenal. I just finished it. That's huge for me. Double now, right? See, the Venetian Arsenal is huge because it doesn't just double my naval production. I already have double production. Now I'm getting quadra, quadra production. So that's why that's so important. I think I need to focus on killing um, Phoenicia. I need to start taking players out of the game because this is just a distraction and really annoying. Um, so I need to like get a bunch of frigates over here and just obliterate him off the map. Now, one power they do have is to do is to figure out who their um, who their front is, who their mid is, and who their back is. 
They have their front just clog the map with cheap ass military units fortified with range units behind them. They have their mid eco hard feeding one player who goes for a culture victory. Ironclad's Christ, hell yeah. And I'm spamming them too because they're basically floating bombs because I don't have the resources to actually sustain production of them. So I'm just going to yeet them at you until they die. England is my city and I must take it. So Ironclad's flipped this back in my favor a little. He made the canal city for trade routes not to attack you. Clever. I think his trade routes are the number one thing I need to kill. I need to hunt down his kill his trade routes and take his eco out of the game. Hey, leave my scouts alone. Now this is promising. This is the promised land right here. Who is this? Who have I found? Oh, it's our dear friend Australia. Good eye, mate. Oh, hello Germany with your cities that have no walls. Why, I'll be I'll be stopping by for a spot at what 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 what's if my playing Egypt? Uh, what did Egyptians drink? Coffee? Tea? Oh, you silly, silly fellow. Where are your walls? You have no walls, Germany. They can try to contain me. But even a small detachment of ships. I can mess someone up with a detachment, okay? <laughs> oh, no, no, no. He forgot to build units. Oh no, he forgot to buy units. Oh no. <laughs> oh, he was too greedy. He doesn't even know what's coming. I'm in the fog of war. It's gonna be the wake up call. Okay, Big Z. If you continue to type puns in, in my in my game of Civ, I will hunt you down. I will find you. So easy kill. Now here's the thing. Ulm is at way too low loyalty. So we just raise it. Oh yeah, by the way. LOL! Potatoes. <laughs> it got murked. Sorry, Cool Whip. I killed your city. I am everywhere. I am a ghost on the seas. <laughs> this guy, he's, I think he's a bit of a... I think he might be slightly newer and wasn't ready for the... Uh, for the assault on his mind that I just did. Oh, Mega Lul. We're taking damage. That's life. Hold on. Uh, oh, we have nationalism. Big changes coming. That's the thing that's blown my mind is that he can he can see invisible, well, quote unquote, invisible units adjacent to a trade route. Ah, where the fuck are his trade routes? Oh, baby, there they are. They wait. They're city trading to Russia. Hold on, boys. That's dirty. I did say no rules, no rules barred. Look at these campuses, bro. Look at these campuses. He has 11 teammates getting fed gold the whole time. He's like, bro, you're bad. Bro, 1v1 me on a dual map, okay? Let me see how good you really are. I have only had gold from England. Yeah, I'm sure. I'm sure only England has given you gold. I'm sure. Sure thing, bud. Sure. I'm looking forward to the Portugal Cope. I really am. The AI obliterated his front line. Ha <laughs> ha. Bro, does he not realize that I'm a cheater? And I'm going to take every fucking advantage I can here? Oh my god. It says at the top of the screen, I'm a cheater. Boom, 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 boom. Imagine thinking I'm going to give this guy an ounce. An ounce of room. He needs to die. I should have banned Portugal. <laughs> Cope. Oh, man. He's running out of ships, though. Like, his military strength is going down. Now he's shaking and quaking. 
Oh, he's crumbling, boys. He's got nothing left. He's got nothing. Oh, there's nothing left of his empire. Oh, where are your units? Where are your units? Are they desynced to Omega Lul? <laughs> <laughs> Lost all my navy. Sajka. Uh, bro, I need a wheelbarrow to carry this guy's tears and copium that's coming out right now. Bro, look at this guy first moving me. This is what you get for your insolence. Look at him shift entering his turn so his units move. Oh, look at him. He's being cute. Your mom was cute. Wow. Toxic in the chat. Uh, why is the pressure so bad here? Let's get some more of those trade routes. Let's get some science. Let's f actually, you know what? Indonesia, I think it's time for Indonesia to die. Monument, granary, walls. Five turns is all I'll need, baby. Who's bing binging me? You bing binger. How dare you? What are you? Medieval and Renaissance and industrial. I'm being binged. Help. <laughs> Help, mom. Bro, I'm taking my turn as fast as I can, okay? I'm literally like a blur. I mean, I've already done damage to Germany. Is Germany irrelevant? Germany is irrelevant. So I don't need to worry about Germany anymore. Russia is who I need to set my sights on. So who are the big bad boys? I think I need to... If I take out our friend Portugal... At long last. Oh my god, I've waited so long for that moment. You've no idea. Good game, well played. You, you fought well, my hero. However, the crumbling has begun the coping is now bro scouts are actually the worst part of naval conflict we need we need to get rid of scouts in naval conflict that shit is actually the worst it's actually the worst part of naval i never i'm vetoing i'm never playing a naval map again ever how does the scout thingy work? Basically, if a scout is embarked in the water with a ship, it'll give it plus two flanking and plus two support. When units are adjacent to each other and they're attacked, they get a support bonus on the defense, which gives them plus two combat strength. If units are adjacent to enemy units, when another enemy unit attacks, you get plus one flanking. Uh, embarked units apply both of those bonuses. So, if you build a lot of like 30 cost scouts and just shit them out into the water, you basically get like plus eight combat strength on your ships. It's insane and it's absolutely necessary to do. It's like having two great generals stacking on top of your great admirals. It's insane and it's awful. And I don't use it in my single player games. Um, you know what? I think Japan just needs to get hit by a few privateers. Just like pick them apart, force them to build a navy. Badung must be obliterated. I got all the dudes. Bro, I actually, I don't know if I'll be able to complete this game and not because it's too late, but because I think my rabbit will kill me in my sleep if I don't let her out soon. All right, boys, critical tech unlocked. We have the tech. It starts with an air and ends with planes. Oh, just a little aerodrome right here. Uh, maybe like a little aerodrome over here. Is that a concede? Or should I say... Con seethe Omega Lull. What's going on? Hello. In the Hello. noob room. Okay. So I have to I have to rename the channel we're in to better reflect your team's ability. So we're now in the team noob room. Welcome. This was an incredibly fun experience. Even though we kinda lost, uh I feel like it was uh Bro, you, you guys know, we, we put up a fight. We put up a fight at least. For sure. Yeah, I just yeah. unlocked planes, I'm about to unlock radio, and then I'm gonna be getting advanced flight in the not too distant future. When I heard yeah. the planes thing, I was just like, yeah, it might be time to call it quits here. Also, I like the religion. One of the religions here is called Fuck Potato. I appreciate that. Um, <laughs> so, like, I had a ton of fun. I always I always enjoy Civ. Uh, sorry we ruined your content. Uh, Flicky, would you like to, to say hmm? a word? Next turn. Next turn. I'm nuking your capital. Okay, let's play out the turn. <laughs> let's wait, see it. Wait, let's no, see it. No, no, no. no. Show me the nuke. <laughs> hold on, hold on, hold on. <laughs> It's in transit. It's in transit. Hold on. <laughs> All right. Boys, what a gang of losers. Oh, my God.